Bonjour Aujourd'hui, Cosmopolitan a rendez-vous avec Ben Harper pour la sortie de son dernier album, White Lies and for Dark Times. On se retrouve tout de suite Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It is your first album with the Relentless Seven. Could you tell us a little bit more about this collaboration? Uh, yeah, they they're from Texas. Relentless Seven are from from different parts of Texas, and um, I met them through an odd set of circumstances. Uh, I was being driven to a gig, my band and I, and the driver played me his demo tape, which I fell in love with incredible music and I helped the band get a deal. This was back in 1997 and um, the band signed a record deal, made a record, they broke up but I remained f close friends with them and when I made, the, a, I have a record called Both Sides of the Gun, mm -hmm. I invited the guitar player from that band who I remained friends with to play on Both Sides of the Gun. He played guitar on a song and then he described to me the two gentlemen he was playing with at the time Um, Jordan Richardson on drums, Jesse Ingalls on bass, and his description was so uh, so passionate about these two players. I invited them all to come in the next day um, to try a song I had written. I was so amazed by these musicians and what they had played on Serve Your Soul. Um, I, I, I just knew there was going to be a, a future there. And If you could choose, would you sing with Bob Marley or play the guitar with Jimi Hendrix? That's too too tough, too difficult. Yeah. That's just too difficult. Both. I knew that. Uh -huh. I knew that. Do you have favorite places for your concert? You know, I don't. I just love to be on stage because when you're on stage, it's a universal place. It's a universal language, and it, it doesn't have it. Once you're on the stage, it doesn't have a specific place where you are. You're just in that in the place of sound. I love to play here in Paris, mm -hmm. and I, I love to play in Italy. I love to play in Australia, New Zealand. Japan. I mean, I, I love to play a lot of places. Which song do you always sing when you perform on stage? It's going to change now with the new band. Yeah, of course. This whole set right now that we're playing is a set of songs that I am equally passionate about. What music do you play in your iPod? In my iPod? Yeah. You know, I don't talk about other music because every time I've talked about other music I'm playing, I regret what I forgot to say. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite swear word? Oh, God, I've got a laundry list of them. <laughs> what do you think when you look at yourself into the mirror? Um, what do I think? I think, um, well, comme c'est comme ça. Who people say you look like? Oh, boy. I mean, I've gotten a lot of, a lot of different things. I, I've had people come up and speak to me in different languages. Depends on whether or not I have a beard. I look like my brother, actually. My yeah. youngest brother, I look like his identical twin some days. What is your favorite French word? Probably patisserie. Patisserie? Because you like to eat patisserie? Yep. Okay. Yep. If you were not married, what would be your advice for a girl to uh, seduce you? Oh, you know, as much as I could answer that possibly, I, pro I probably, it would probably be in bad taste <laughs> for me to answer that. It's, it's a good question, but I probably shouldn't. Is it something you want to tell to the cosmopolitan girls? If by chance you do end up listening to it, turn it up loud. Okay, well, thanks a lot. I really hope that French people will like uh, your new album as much as we loved the, you know, the ones you released so far. Thanks. And, uh, well, take good care of you. Okay, will do, and thank you for the time. No, thank you. Merci.